So the trail markers have disappeared. Or well, there's other markers, but I'm not sure where they're leading. But the thing about a mountain, you can never get that lost because you have to go to the top. But I'm afraid there's another cliff on that side, so a little bit of climbing to do. You'd be hard pressed to tell me this isn't West Texas. Very similar climate, the environs, the rocks, and the stupid stingy metal that's even coming through my pants. I kind of wish I had jeans on now. The one thing that's got me a little freaked out, I hate snakes. And this is snake country. So I gotta watch my step. Oh, uh, wasn't it? Well, I'm at a point now where I'm pretty sure I'm eating my words. Uh, fragging about my so-called British tourists on the other side of the mountain, which are probably up. Having some nice scotch right now. Definitely a case where uh, every step counts. A lot of loose rocks here. Uh, don't know when the next rock slide begins with me going down. And we're doing our best. I think we're nearly there. Possibly not. And I'm doing a better job following the contours. Although there's no trail markers. Mother Nature is uh, treating me to Mother Nature's trail marker of dung. Which means, uh, another creature thinks it's a smart idea of going up this way. And or should I not make it? Something at least come by and gobble me up. A goat. Bear. Goat. And... Kind of nice. She's going to make it. It's also 11-11 and I wanted to be up there by noon time. So, I think I'm going to make it actually. Pretty, eh? A little limestone. And it's kind of nice. It's got good traction with these boots. But it's a pretty frail rock, so you have to be careful that what you grab is actual rock and not a stone. The stratifications over here, the limestone being pushed up and then weathered down over the centuries. So, I have some Moorish expedition. Perhaps came to take a garner of the area up here. I will track on. It's one of those times where you're hoping, after all this, we get to the top here. It's actually the top. Bottom and top of here. Damn flies. Let me get the stuff on here. Yeah. So, every little step counts. I, I swear to God, I'll get up here and there's going to be a road. I just know it. In the interest of a health plan, I probably does not want to pay for an airlift in Spain to some hospital. I'm going to have to let you go. So I made it to the top. This is the mountain chain of Sierra de Chiminia. And the mountain is Camoro Alto. And again, this is uh, about 4,500 feet high. It's also home to every bug in the world. And it's freaking crazy up here. I've got a huge batch of emergency bug spray on me. Sheer deep, burning my skin. But, uh, God, I hope we get through these bugs just a little bit. Jesus. Anyway, I was like fling up here because we're definitely gonna have to move to a lower level to have some lunch because it's not gonna happen up here. Oh, oh the bugs. Oh, I forgot what they're called. I think like they're like, wait a minute, or just crazy. But the gnats, everything, and the bug spray is doing absolutely nothing. I'm getting completely covered by gnats up here. Oh, why, oh why? So, no picnic up here today. Uh, I did meet my so-called British climbers. They were actually Spanish. And the one kid, okay, he beat me up here. Which doesn't make me happy. But the other one did not. He's probably an 80 year old guy. I did make it, and I beat my time because it's only about 11.30, and I want to be up here by noon, so plenty of time to make it down to the mountain. El Torax over there with all the limestone, perhaps more even on the other side there. I don't think that's going to happen today. My God, these bugs. So, take a few shots, and then uh, have some lunch. We'll make our way back down. Oh, good fun. Good fun. I don't know if you can see them. It's hard for me to, but right at the tip of my finger, there's two baby 
mountain goats thing staring right at me. I can hear you probably smell me too. Like, who's that man with all the deet? Bugs are, are tremendous up here, but oh, this is absolutely crazy. Amazing. Move little things, move so people can see. And they're probably not. So I'll try to get some digital shots so we can go a little bit closer to them. And on, speaking of wildlife, on the way up here, I uh, came around a bend and I think I scared them, but they scared me too. And a whole bunch of much larger mountain goats and they took off. Had Hugo been up here, we'd still be looking for him, the dog. Well, the bugs have died down slightly. Still a few pesky ones around, but it's a little bit better than me at the top of the cliff. And what a fantastic view. And to think of the centuries that have uh, been cultivated here. You follow olive trees now, very famous area for the olive oil, uh, much of the fruit it produces, the orange trees, the figs. And that goes dating back to the Moors time and the Roman times as well. Uh, most of the road area that you see out this way is pretty much dates back to the Romans. So a lot of the towns have the uh, the wagon wheel feature with the uh, central area and the roads heading out, and then very straight roads because uh, wagons don't turn so well to the the various villages along the way. And it's a splendid day, absolutely beautiful up here. Um, we saw that the uh, goats are still making their way, the herds down at the bottom. So uh, I was waiting for some big ones to come up. It'd be nice to get some good shots of them before we uh, head back down. And uh, it looks nice. It's a good trek up here, and we may choose the uh, British tourist way on the way down, even though they actually turned out to be Spanish. And it's certainly a, about an 80-year-old guy that finally made it back up here. <laughs> Sometimes they just feel humble climbing mountain. But we get the trek on the back down, and we'll get a little time, hopefully, to uh, view the city some. So in the meantime, Sit down and enjoy the rest of my shitty Gatorade, some granola bars, and watch the view with my newfound friends, the bugs. Before we head down today, I'd like to extend a special thank you to Mother Nature for all the bugs. Who knew at the top of a mountain that there'd be so many? Uh, whoever invented DEET to at least get them off me once they land. But most of all, I'd like to send a special thank you to my dad, who uh, through the years has taught me quite a bit when it comes to mountaineering and hiking and uh, sometimes living off the land. Four-wheel driving, which has been fun on some of the roads up here, more like rally. And uh, thanks for uh, teaching me how to be safe. And it gets me up to fun places up here and only taller mountains to go. Thanks, Dad. Well, here's one of the little critters that were running around the hills down here. Uh, so apparently there is something more than just little deers and sheep running around here.